Yeah. Let him go. What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and as several of you guys have seen we got a bit of carp madness going on here at the mouth of the Columbia. Uh, this is not something we've seen in the past um, but this is something that allows us to get out catch some fish in really close proximity uh, when there's days where we can't can't travel a ways or we can't get out into the ocean. So we're gonna get after this. It's been a ton of fun. And I wouldn't say that I've been a carp guy by any means. Um, a couple of my buddies are avid carp fishermen. And usually I give them a hard time. And, and it's not because I don't like to catch carp. It's usually the places where we have a lot of success don't look like where we're at right now. So. I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty cool. It's it's a lot of fun chasing them in the, in this tidally uh, tide water. I mean, this is this is just feet away from where we crab, so we're gonna get after it. And what I want is a fly that's gonna sit suspended. So this isn't gonna ride hook point up. This is gonna go hook point down. So this is gonna just sit underneath the water and just kind of hang out. So I'm gonna tie some of these boobies on. We're gonna get a couple wraps one way, a couple wraps the other way. And then we'll do some figure eight in front, across, across, behind. And that'll keep those in place. So basically this fly, I'll show you when it's done, but it's not gonna ride like this at all. Um, not even close. So then we're gonna take a spawn polywog tail and we are gonna cut it in half. We don't need a lot of this. So we've been we've been having a lot of success on shrimp flies, on stone flies, but I'm having some issues getting, I mean, there's barnacles in some of these areas. So I wanna have a fly that's up off the bottom. And there's a, the cool thing is there's a ton of really awesome carp content on there. Some of, like I said, some of my friends are really avid carp fishermen. So. Um, this is kind of a almost saltwater solution to keeping this fly in the zone uh, and looking nice and buggy. So we'll see if it works. I reckon it's going to work great, but we will keep you guys posted on that. Either way, this is going to be a sweet little fly, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So we got the we got the spawn polywog tail. We got the booby eyes. We're using a Arex FW550 number eight. So not super big. These carp are large that are down here currently. So we're catching them mostly in the 10 pound class. Uh, I did hook one yesterday that bent out a hook into my backing. I had to put the brakes to it and it bent out that hook. It was not this hook. So switching up to this hook and we'll go from there. So a little clump and dump here. Fill that back. And we got some Arizona semi seal here and Canadian rust. I'm shortening these fibers out just a tad. Um, don't want them crazy long. And we're gonna get that right up against that, those booby eyes. And then we'll rotate our hook back. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, so we're gonna take a couple hairline silicone rubber legs. And bone. Just need realistically just need one of these. Split it in half. And 
And this is going to blend that like shrimp, damselfly, crustacean all together. That is kind of what we're going for here with this pattern. And like I said, there's a lot of patterns for carp out there. But the cool thing is, is I don't see any saltwater carp patterns. And it is brackish water, but as you guys have seen in some of those videos, it is massively tidally influenced. So there is a huge tide swing down there. There's seals, crab, we saw some otters. I took the drone out and was looking for uh, looking for the carp. I saw some otters on the drone. Maybe we'll share that content later. But this should do it really well. So we're excited about this little fly here. Stack in there. Get it right back in on that eyes. Oh yeah. This is going to do it. I'll, I'll definitely update uh, maybe the thumbnail if I go out there and absolutely just crush him on this fly if this is the golden ticket out here but that is that it's really simple fly um, it's gonna get the job done for us I truly believe it's gonna allow me to fish that water column the way I want to do it um, I don't need this to be right on the bottom I've been observing these carp and there's all kinds of debris and stuff that's floating around in these estuaries and I can see him eating stuff just in that center column of the water along that shoreline and those shrimp uh, when they root up they they uh, spread them out and those so we're gonna see if we can't get some of these that way I'm not snagging on the bottom as much either there's a lot of stuff to snag into in some of these areas so a little zap a gap hold it together And that's that. So basically this fly is going to sit like this, like more like that probably. So when it swims by, it's going to see this side of it and I'll cast it out and then they're swimming along this way. Hopefully they'll come up and grab that. So it should be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. Like I said, not much to this little fly here, but we're really excited about it and it should be a ton of fun if there's anything we can do be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave it in the comments section below thank you very much